Good morning, morning and welcome to the show. Now, let me introduce you to Russ Williams. He's here today. How Hello, are you? Hello, son. I'm very well, thank you. I had a little problem with the traffic before the show. But yes. I'm cool. I'm relaxed. Have a glass of champagne. Oh, it is, after you. all, it's, half past it's ten. Very, no, not now. Not now. Not a good idea. <laughs> welcome, anyway. Thank you. Look, we've got tons on the show today. We'll be meeting the triplets that were born 68 years ago, but only actually met each other last week. And we've also got the best summer maternity fashions for mums to be. Plus, the man whose life was saved by his lucky underpants, <laughs> yes. And the woman who met the cannibals who ate her uncle. Good afternoon and welcome to the grand finale of the Coalite Nations Cup here at the Hexagon in Reading. Scotland have started favourites in each year of this event but have yet to secure the title. The Republic of Ireland have really been this week's surprise package with terrific wins over both the previous champions, England and Wales. Oh, it's a great scene that, isn't it? You can watch that time and time again. Now, if you knew that it was Meg Ryan who played Sally in the romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally, then Rachel in our very famous phone room could be calling your house right now. Hello, it's Karen Nesbitt from Townsend. Hello, Karen. Hello. How's your day going? Very well, thank you. Could you do with a few pounds? What would I do with it? No, could you do with a few pounds? Oh, I could do with it, yes. <laughs> I'm sure you could. We want to give uh, as much money as possible. Yes, we do. Know. How did you feel about that, David? Um, Being 21, you know, of, yeah, of age. Yeah, it didn't bother me one little bit because I'd had such a lovely bringing up. And then the search, of course, for, for your two sisters. Um, went on for many, many years, didn't it, and culminated, as, as Fern was saying just a few moments ago, last Friday. That's but you right. had to enlist the help of uh, NORCAP, a, a very famous organisation, perhaps yeah. you might like to tell yeah. us a little bit yeah. about in just a moment, and also you had to go through the courts as well. Meet the man who believes his lucky boxer shorts saved his life. It's called Mark Sweeting. Welcome to this morning, Hello. Mark. Let's have a look at the famous boxer <laughs> shorts first. Have you worn them since, by the way? No. 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 I don't suppose you ever want to see them again. Now. Take us through the story. Essentially, you heard about a woman who used to put her knickers on backwards mm. and she won the lottery. And she yeah. said it was, that was why she won the lottery. So you went out and bought some lottery tickets yeah, on a particular evening and thought you'd put your boxer shorts on backwards yep. and went off to the pub. And then it really did literally all go downhill after that, didn't it? It oh, certainly did, yes. yeah. Well, I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot more from some of those young fighters in the future. In fact, you can be absolutely sure of that. Anyway, a long way from Madison Square Garden, another heavyweight was also making his debut. Huey the Banger Robertson, that's him right there. Punch for pounds at the Elephant and Castle Leisure Centre earlier this month. Roy Jones Jr. there, Harmon, by the way, stopped himself after that 10th round damaged ear, it turned out to be, so we didn't get a fight going the full distance. But I guess, Steve, that's by the by, really. Fourth time we've seen Roy Jones Jr. in, what, eight months at this new light heavyweight weight division that he fights in now and all the explosion that was there when he fought in the middleweight division seems to have completely disappeared.